The most incredible thing about miracles is that they actually happen. You can't understand wine if you don't know where it's created. An oasis, that's where wines are created. But what is exactly an oasis? Well, it's like an island. It's a place where things can grow, but right outside its borders, they can't. It's a place where people can thrive. It's a miracle. And I'm going to demonstrate you how Montalcino is a miracle oasis. I'm walking in one of the borders of our oasis. And guess what? This is the desert slope of Montalcino. This soil is so dry that actually I'm feeling thirsty right now. You have to imagine how this is clay that was created over 10 million years ago. This soil is so tough, and yet one of the paramount factor to the character of Brunello di Montalcino. And as impossible as uh, it might seem, as it does look pretty impossible to me to find life in such a tough desert of clay, Montalcino is a true oasis. And guess what? Miracle has happened. We found life. We found the vine. We found the Sangiovese grapes. Now it's time to go look for the other borders. And what you see over there is an extinct volcano. 1,700 meters above the sea level, this mighty mountain, which was sacred to the Etruscan, is actually saving Montalcino from the eastern wind, making this area the driest in Tuscany, which for fine wine is a paramount factor. We know how Montalcino is an oasis, but what do we need to make it a true one? is water. You might be even hearing the sound of water. This is the Orchard River, defining the south border of our territory. This river brings the power of the sea into this countryside, making Montalcino a Mediterranean oasis. You might be able to hear this. What is it? It's the sound of the forest. Does a forest have a sound? Yes, it does. It's the wind. The fourth element, the fourth border of Montalcino Oasis is Dante's dark forest. That's where I am walking right now. You might be wondering, what does the forest have to do with Montalcino, with a wine? Everything, I'd say. Well. First of all, people are not entitled to touch this forest. This forest has been remained intact for the past 600 years, which is exactly why it was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, because the painters of the Renaissance were inspired so much by this beauty. And because the inhabitants of Montalcino have been so respectful not to touch it, because the forest is also a place of the soul. It's a place where people could get easily lost, but it's only where people get lost 
It's only when we get lost that we can find ourselves again. We've been through the desert of the Creta Sinesi, touching the earth element of these oases. We then walk on the riverbed of the Orcha, all the way from the Mediterranean Sea, to prove that these oases has got water as one of its borders. And then the mighty mountain of Monte Amiata, an extinct volcano where fire was the element. And then in the end, the forest, the Val d'Orcia forest, to prove anything else but the fact that Montalcino is a true oasis. This is the miracle of Montalcino. <laughs>